Hi, it's Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. Today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between water filtration and distilled water. I've told you in other videos that you should be drinking and cooking in distilled water and you could have filtration for the rest of your house. And one of my friends asked, well, what's the difference? So let me try to explain the difference. A distiller is a machine that heats up the water. The water, you know, just like when you boil water on a stove and it reaches the boiling point and it turns into steam. So the steam rises up off the water and it, it's transferred by a tube over to a catching container. And, and it cools down and it goes to the catching container and then it's just pure water. Anything that has a different boiling point than water, either higher or lower, is either left behind in the other container or it's already boiled off. Because the way it works is that as you add more and more heat to the water, it goes up uniformly degree by degree. And when it hits 212 Fahrenheit, then it turns to steam and goes over the tube and drops into the other container. Anything that came off at 100 degrees or 150 degrees is already gone. Anything that won't boil off until 300 degrees is still in the original container. So you end up with absolutely 100% pure water in the catching container. This is what scientists and distillers use to purify liquids. Now a filtration system is like a sieve. It's, you're pouring stuff through the sieve and the sieve, depending on the size of the holes, is catching stuff. But what's coming out the bottom of the sieve still has stuff in it if the stuff is small enough to slip through the holes in the sieve. So filtration systems have different size holes in their sieve. And the most significant kind of filtration, as far as I know, is reverse osmosis. That's the one that takes out the vast majority of things in the water. I'm not sure if it takes out everything, but it certainly takes out way more than other kinds of filtration systems, like carbon filtration or whatever. They only take out a few things. You can Google that on the internet and you can see how many more things are taken out of the water by the by the um, reverse osmosis filtration systems then, for example, the, the simple little carbon pitcher that you put in your refrigerator. But the purest water of all comes out of a distiller. So that's why I want you to be drinking distilled water and using it for cooking so that you're sure that whatever is coming into your mouth is the purest water available. And one of the great things about drinking a lot of completely pure water is it gives the body a, a chance and a place to dump off harmful stuff as the body is metabolizing things, as the liver is working and dumping off toxic things. This pure water is like the stream that the body can dump its junk into and then you urinate it out. And um, when you're taking in water that's already completely filled up with stuff, Where's the body going to put the waste products? So that's why drinking a lot of totally pure water is very beneficial. And with re you, since that would be exorbitantly expensive and slow to do that for your whole house, the next best thing would be get the highest quality filtration system that you can for your house so that when you're taking a shower or when you're filling the bathtub or when you're washing, you're using pretty well filtered water. And you can even get a shower filter that goes right on the shower head that will take out a lot. My, one of my friends says he can really tell the difference in terms of he can't smell that chlorine smell anymore in his shower water because he put one of these shower filters on. So that's what I wanted to clarify for people, like what's the difference between filtered water and distilled water. So I hope this is another good tip that will help you to get healthy and stay healthy. Thanks.